It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. Hey there. Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show. What's going on? Let me know in the comments. We'll talk about it. And uh, speaking of the comments, let's just get into the comments. First one is from Ron Fox. And he says, Bob, I think you hid this video on me. How did I miss this? He's talking about the video of Dr. Mike Amaranthus. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description. I'm showing it on the screen right now. Um, Dr. Mike was here for, uh, what was that? It was the 420 celebration we had. We had him, and we also had Jeff Lowenfels here. We did a little presentation with both of them. They're both videos on here. They were amazing. Cool cats. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't trying to hide them, but they are always back in the old catalog there, so I wanted to bring those back up again. Thanks for mentioning that, Ron Fox. Next one, Dirt Digger says, What's going on with the tent, Bob? Let's go check it out. First thing, let's see what the humidity and the temperature are. 74.8 degrees, 63% humidity. I think that falls within the range. I think it's pretty good. What do you think about that? <laughs> so let's just quickly go over the setup of what we got going and how we got there. So we've got this T5 fixture up here going, and then we've got this LED down below. What we're trying to do there is build up a little heat. Uh, then we got one exhaust fan up here. Come on over here, I'll show you that. It's just up here blowing out this hole, and then we somewhat can regulate the temperature by how big we make that hole. Then down here we've got our fan going, blowing on the plants, blowing through the canopy. Uh, we've got just one vent open. I did open the other vents a little bit to see how that would go. The temperature dropped a little bit. I closed those back up again. And the humidifier's gone. I took the humidifier out here because it looks like we got plenty of humidity. As far as the peppers, our Aleppos are doing great. they got a bunch of peppers on them and a ton of flower sites. So I'm pretty happy with that. Our Coyote Zam back here, he's looking good. He's uh, got some strong growth, a lot of flowers, no, uh, not too many sprouts yet. And then this guy over here is our Urfa Bieber. Let me move you over there. Hold on one second. He's looking good. He's got some serious peppers on there. Look at this pepper down here. Hold on, I'll, I'll pull it out a little bit. Can you see that? Uh, can you see that guy down there? I mean, he's got some stuff going here. So this is looking great. Same thing with the other one. Hold on, I'll move you over there. He's looking good. Got some good pepper growth on there. And then these two guys are Gator Jigsaws. I think they're looking pretty good. They haven't really grown any peppers yet, it doesn't look like, but they got some good flower sites. They must be a little slower to uh, bring on growth. You remember how they were kind of funky down below? Let me point you down there. Uh, they All that growth down below that was kind of screwy kind of just kind of fell off and some new stuff came in, and they're looking real strong. They've just got kind of a, a top and a bottom situation to them, so that's good, I guess. And then our, uh, let me show you here, our Rebe Kaseva, he's uh, got just tons of, Tons of small flower sites coming on. So uh, I think he's looking pretty good too. So I'm feeling like we're pretty set here. We've got good growth on our peppers. I think we have our environmental concerns largely worked out. So uh, time to move on to the next thing. Come on up, back up. Okay, let's hit a couple more viewer comments, then we'll talk about what we're going to talk about. So uh, Urban Gorilla Grower One said, What's the temp and humidity going to do? when the lights go out if they're on a timer. And they are on a timer, yeah, they go out there like on a 18 and a 6 situation. So let me grab these temperatures here. So I came in last night, uh, I was worried about the plants because I didn't water them on Saturday and I was freaking out, oh, thinking they were gonna be, you know, unhappy. So about, oh, I guess it's probably 10 o'clock last night on Sunday I came in and when I did, the temperature was 64 degrees and the humidity was 53%. And then uh, when I came in this morning, uh, you know, the lights have been on for a few hours. It was at 71 degrees and 57%. And then it's up to what it is now. That's after closing down those vents a little bit. So I think with those vents closed down a little bit, we'll keep a little more heat in there. So we may have a little bit better temperature. But I got to assume when they're, you know, in the wild, it probably even gets colder than that. Uh, when, you know, it's nighttime out in the desert or wherever those grow. So, you know, there's your, the information. Let me know what you think about that. And then uh, Mimic Technology Incorporated said, when the only light is an LED, eliminate the humidifier, which is exactly what we did. Uh, that will help your humidity. Then to increase the temps, you can play with the venting, just like we did. Or you could uh, put a simple incandescent or floodlight or even a small grow uh, light in a floodlight house to generate some additional heat. You do not need much heat, he says. And I agree with that, but um, I, the reason I'm using this T5 is I felt like maybe our LED, which is made for a 3x3 space and we're in a 4x4, is a little underpowered. So I thought, 
you know, we're going to get a little heat out of that, but we're also going to get some grow light out of that and maybe some, some uh, wider spectrum to it. So my thinking was that it makes sense to do it this way. And most people agreed with me in the comments. A few people disagreed. Uh, you know, I, I guess it kind of comes down too to your, uh, your situation. If you got too much heat in your room, you got to do some things. If you got not enough heat in your room, you got to do other things. I think this setup works pretty well for us and uh, is a good place to kind of let go of working on setting the tent up and make it time to kind of get after the nectar thing and what we're going to be doing with our nectar grow. So that's what I want to talk to you about. So let's just talk about it. Um, we've been working with the uh, comprehensive feeding regimen. I think this has been a real valuable thing. Uh, we've done a lot of work and talking to people about using SLF 100, culture biologics, micro life, full on, Bigfoot, and some other things that play well with nectar. And I, I think we've really covered that pretty well and that we really should probably focus back in on the nectar, on the nectar part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of modify what we're doing a little bit and we're going to start working on nectar is I want to add some nectar products and I'm going to grab them here. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm back. So I, I want to talk about more with you about using Kraken as part of this, uh, the regimen we've already done with the comprehensive and adding Bloom Chaos into the mixture because a lot of people have been asking about those things. So I want to do that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to kind of back off for now on talking about the plays well stuff. As far as our microbial tea day, we're just going to use some Photo Plus for our tea days for now. Uh, nothing wrong with these other products. They are excellent for using for your tea day, but just for, for us to be focusing on this, we're not going to focus on that tea day. We're going to focus more on the nectar. We're still going to be using the SLF 100. I think that's an important part of it. But the other things, just know that uh, those are important and things you probably want to use, you maybe want to use, but that we're not going to be talking so much about those. We're going to be focusing in on the nectar part of it. And that's what we'll get started with, uh, I guess, tomorrow. We'll get going with that. Maybe get Scott over here to talk with us and some other people, get some people in here and really focus on how you can work with nectar to dial it in, to get comfortable with it, and to really take some little more advanced steps with it to make get all you can out of it. So that's the show for today. We'll start with that tomorrow. I'll love you, and I'll see you then. The OCG Fam Show.